Alright guys, we'll start the stream in a couple of minutes. Wow, my mic was literally muted this entire time. Alright. Again, because I, you guys did, were not hearing me, we're doing sling load missions. We did... We did keys kayakers. We did this. We did this. This is not a sling load mission, so we're not going to do this one. And let's do the sling load tutorial. It's kind of hilarious that we had sling load missions before the tutorial, so... Let's jump into it real quick. Alright. Now I'm going to open up the chat on my computer. My other computer. So if you guys comment, I can see it. And I can also peep the latency between YouTube, streaming on YouTube and streaming on Twitch. To complete this tutorial, you need to position each load where I tell you to, without damaging any of the objects or the helicopter. Helicopters are very versatile aircraft. Lifting payloads and placing them exactly where needed is a specialty of workhorse helicopters like this EH-101. In this tutorial, we'll review how to operate the helicopter, and I'll provide some pointers. Oh, it seems as if my camera is not working. No, my camera is not working. That is weird. Let me pause the stream. Why isn't the camera working? That's weird. Is it plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged in. 
Again, this should have been something I checked. I checked on before I started the stream. Oh, it seems to be frozen now. All right, let's do this. Yoink. All right, that's all right. There we go. Camera is back online. Yep. All right, there we go. The EH-101 is a medium lift helicopter. It has a maximum load lifting capability of 12,000 pounds. As the density altitude increases and when you're out of ground effect, the load capability decreases. Let's prepare for some lifting work here on the field. Before we start the engines, lower the collective so we don't lift off prematurely. Alright, collective is low. Lower the collective. Move your throttle lever all the way toward you or press the F1 key. It's kind of strange. I have my computer. I have the Twitch stream and the YouTube stream on separate windows, but I can't see the comments on the YouTube stream. On the Twitch stream, sorry. The Twitch chat. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Alright, that is better. Cool. Let's go fly. Alright, I'll wait until our rotor RPM is all the way up, then we'll go fly. Okay, lift off from the helipad now and hover taxi onto the grass. The first skill to learn is how to lift an object with the sling load cable. We'll start with that pallet of wooden crates. I'll give you positional instructions when we're over the crates. All right, let's open up this view. This view is for you guys. I am not going to be I'm not going to be looking at this camera at all. It's very distracting for me. And our frame rates took a dive. What's our frame rates? Whoa. We're getting between 7 and 10 frames per second. 13, 14 frames per second. I should probably change my goal for a new processor. Whoops. Because flight sim is CP FSX is CPU based. Generally speaking, it's easier to operate the sling load and hoist while flying from the locked spot view. Use the shadow of the crates to gauge their altitude above the ground. Press shift Z to monitor the speed and altitude of the helicopter. Yep. The sling load cable is 65 feet long. So you need to hover at approximately that height above the ground to attach it to the crates. Use the radio altimeter to judge our height as we approach. Yeah, but when I'm zoomed out... crates weighs about 800 pounds. The sling load is rated for 10,000 pounds, so we should be able to lift the crates without any problems. Yeah, when I'm zoomed out this far, I can't see the radio altimeter. Actually, I think I can. The radio altimeter is right here. Oh, Kenji Hall is in chat. Hello and welcome. We're doing more sling load missions. I was re remarking earlier that I think it's kind of weird. Whoops, let me pause. I think it's kind of weird that the sling load tutorial is after a couple of sling load missions. to make small adjustments to our position. When you're ready to attach the cable to the crates, press O to engage the hook. When the cable is within reach of the crates, it should automatically attach. Pressing O again will release the crates and deactivate the hook. Alright. 
to maintain a hover, we need to be 5 degrees nose up. Oh, hello, uh, DVE swans. I checked out your YouTube channel a couple days ago. Good stuff, man. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting the FS2020. Can't wait for FS2020. I will have to upgrade my computer for FS2020. But I can I'll, I'll definitely be getting it. Right, very carefully. Yes, I got it. Ooh, yeah, my frame rate is chugging. I'm not sure how the experience is for you guys, but for me, it's terrible. Alright, let me save. Tut. Quick save. Oh yeah, um, DVE Swans, your videos, um, I just peeped the thumbnails, but I think, I think your videos are, um, plain spottings from the tower. That's, that's really awesome, man. It's really cool that your dad in introduced you to aviation really, really early. So, it's like, you already know what you're aiming for in life, so that's, that's really really cool and you get to be in the tower tower is tower is dope but it's very busy though it's busy and like at denver like at um like international airports it'd be very busy you need to be on your your p's and q's but yeah man if you're interested just just stick up stick with it you're already on the right path for that Alright, this. I hate when I have to be so specific with putting loads on stuff. Like, just give me a broad area to drop the load and I'll drop the load. Whoa. Alright, let's zoom out a bit. Oops, it's on the ground, but it's not on the truck. Alright, so let's increase a bit. Left. Throttle down. Down, down on the... Yes! Seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Imagine a helicopter picking up a Humvee. That's it's crazy. And not only not only are you doing it in flight sim, but it can be done in real life too. That's that's amazing, man. And there are people there are people who do this stuff in real life. Oops, 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 oops. And you know, in real life, they only have cockpit view to work with. So. Mad props. Mad props to the guys who do this IRL. Well, let's pause, bring up that, bring up that um thing really quickly. Uh, aircraft. Sling load. Oh, okay. We're 
pretty close. Let's put this up here. And my frame rates are suffering. Now lift the vehicle and deliver it to the barge floating offshore. Oh wow, that was really quick. Alright. You'll notice that with the greater weight of the vehicle, the pendulum effect is exaggerated and it's more difficult to control the helicopter. Oh, alright, knows now we're kinda drifting backwards. Right, mild pedal turn. When you have sling loads, you don't want to, you don't want to make any sudden movements. Oh, actually, we should quick save. Tut, yes, quick save. Oh, did you guys see um the new video, um Microsoft. FS 2020 put up yesterday called uh, IFR. It looks really, really good. It's kind of weird they highlight stuff that we kind of expect in a splite simulator and they're making it sound like, oh, FSX, FSX did not have this, so we're going to include it now. But you could make flight plans and do IFR stuff in flights in FSX. Right, we are wow, we're going very very slowly. So with sling loads you don't want to go faster than 70 knots. But since he's right there, I think I'm gonna limit our speed to around 30 knots. Whoops, we're going faster than 30 knots. See, this is weird. I always set limits for myself, and then I always exceed those limits. It's like, oh, let's limit our speed to 30 knots. We go past 30 knots. Let's limit our altitude to 3,000. We're at 5,000. Like, come on. And that's also what I do in real life, too. I was supposed to go on a walk to the... Kind of started getting fat. But I'm like, oh, let's stream first. I mean, I could always stream late. I could always go on my walk later. Or do it tomorrow. Alright. We're coming up to the barge. See, and this barge is, this barge is huge. Oh no, we're, we're oscillating. That's not good. See, this is why you always make small movements. Uh, the oscillation is not too bad. Just need to slow down and bring the Humvee Whoa, 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 whoa. You might just smack it onto the deck. I don't want to smack it onto the deck, but we just might have to do that. Yep. We're gone. We're done. We're done for. We're done for. Yeah, we are done for. Actually, no. I think we've recovered. We have recovered nicely. Yeah! Wow, look at that! We have recovered! Alright, so I'm just... We've exhausted the length of the barge, so we're going to turn to the right. Alright, increase altitude. Alright, down. Oh. Now we'll 
learn to use the rescue hoist. For the most part, flying the helicopter when using the rescue hoist is similar to using the sling load, except that the load is hanging off the side of the helicopter and thus tends to pull a bit in that direction. You can extend or retract the hoist cable to pull objects into the helicopter. Most of the time, you'll be pulling an accident victim up into the helicopter. The hoist can handle up to 600 pounds, and the cable can extend up to 300 feet. Now we'll perform a mock rescue. There's a rescue swimmer waiting for us in the water near the dive boat. He'll be our accident victim. Without any immediate obstacles, you don't need to use the full length of the hoist cable, and you can hover at a comfortable height above the water. Yep. It'll be easier if you're not too close to the water. Although it's easiest to fly with the sling load and hoist using locked spot view, you can change to other views. To change to side door or hoist view, just press A. Press Control U to deploy the hoist. Alright, let's do that now. The cable descent for the victim. When it reaches the victim, the hook should engage automatically. If you have disengaged the hook, press O to re-engage it. Alright, so now we have two cables hanging underneath us. That's that's not good. Oh, well, let's save again. We probably could have done this mission in one go. Tyler said, nah, let's let me take my time. Oh, if you guys have Twitch, be sure you get to follow me on Twitch too. Uh, you don't have to sub, you don't have to subscribe, but a follow is appreciated. We're climbing, we're climbing, let's start descending. Pull the nose up. Yep. Yep. Man, I have been getting good flying the, the helicopter. Alright, I think Kate lower the cable. Whoops. To the Okay, uh, let's pause. Oh, K to raise the cable, J to lower it. J and stop. Yeah. Cool. So what I did, I press J to lower the cable. And I press K to stop it. So the cable does not extend um, its full length. Oh yeah, I see the rescue swimmer. Now if I was in the cockpit flying in real life, how would I see him? Probably would have to fly sideways. Uh, let's press O. Probably have to fly sideways and let someone spot it, spot him. Now extend the cable by pressing J. You can retract <coughs> it by pressing J. <coughs> Adjust your hover height only if the cable isn't long enough to reach the victim. Watch the cable descend toward the victim. When it reaches the victim, the hook should engage automatically. If you have disengaged the hook, press O to re-engage it. You guys seeing what Flight Sim is doing? It's kind of tripping out. That's sh my shadow on the area on the area underneath me. It's kind of glitching. Come on, grab onto this cable.
This this guy's not giving me any more instructions, you know. It's kind of weird. He's not giving me instructions. Let's hit key to raise that cable a little bit more. Yeah, about my X the axis. Now let's do this. Let me do this from in here. And let's hit up that side door view. Is there a side door? There's not a side door view. Aircraft hoist. Oh no, that does not help me any. Top? That doesn't help me either. Let's do sling load. Alright, so I, I can look at my my attitude indicator. Alright, there he is. So I need to slide forward. Actually, no. I fly it from out here. Maybe I can do the cockpit from in here. Cockpit outside, yeah. Little switcheroo. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Yes, grab onto it. That's kind of funny. We we got the Hummer the first try. We got the pallets. Alright, let me let me peep my. Yeah, let me bring this up a bit. Cool. Now we just have to return to the airport. Ah, sorry for jamming the mic. Let's quick save again. Oh, this airport is where we did the uh, Sugarloaf repair. This is Santos Dumont Airport in Brazil, and that's the Sugarloaf mountain over there. Why the frame rate so low? It's like 17 and 14. Yeah, I will definitely need to upgrade my computer to play FS2020 when it comes out. I kind of, I'm kind of hoping that Microsoft takes their time releasing FS2020 because I want time to upgrade my PC. I actually want the world. To go back to normal so I could at least start working again and then then get FS2020 unfortunately I think FS2020 will also will be a subscription or maybe you yeah I don't I don't somehow I don't see I don't see myself I don't see Microsoft um, selling FS2020 for one 
fixed price. Or they might make it free to play or I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I don't know but Great job. You've completed all the tutorial objectives. Lovely. EH101 helicopter checkout. Nice. Oops, let's move that. See how Okay. Yeah, I was just checking the levels. Ooh, antenna package. Let's see. Antenna package. And then Baltic Sea Rescue. EH101, okay. So I only have two more sling load missions to do. But unfortunately, they are both. Both of them are about four or five minutes long. I hear my neighbors making noise, so let me go close my window. All information for this mission is on a need to know basis. All you need to know is that we have two objects to get from here to Sandia Crest. It so shouldn't take as long, assuming everything goes as planned. This is a mixed civilian military airport. This is a hush-hush mission, so we won't be talking to Albuquerque Tower. We have our orders and clearances through other channels. The controllers know what we're doing. I'll monitor tower to keep tabs on civilian operations. We're expected to maintain a very low profile and to avoid all other aircraft. The sling load cable is attached and we're ready to start up, complete the startup procedures. There isn't much paperwork for these missions, but I'll take care of what we have. Albuquerque Tower, World Travel 738, ready to go. World Travel 738, winds 257 at 12, runway 26, cleared for takeoff. World Travel 738. The first package is just across the airport at one of the testing facilities. And don't ask me what they do there. I really don't know. Okay, the key to getting across the airport is not to get in the way of any other aircraft. Albuquerque Tower is aware of our presence, but they know better than to ask questions. Don't do anything that requires them to address us. I love flights in my dawn. Dawn and dusk. Look at the dude. Oh, look at the grunge on the helicopter. That's super cool. See how the grunge captures the light? Actually, no, that's not grunge, that's a camouflage pattern. School nonetheless. Albuquerque Tower, Baron 1 Fox Trot Sierra, ready to go. VFR to the Baron 1 Fox Trot Sierra, caution, wing turbulence, depart at 737, 257, 12, runway 26. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Baron 1 Fox Trot Sierra. Flight some at dawn and dusk. Looks really, really nice. Clear five, Lima Romeo, wind two five seven at one three, runway two six, clear to land. Flight some really shines. Orbit seventy nine thirty four, your number two, following the Lear, runway two. Really shines, dusk and dawn. It's pretty busy tonight. We can wait it out and cross the airport directly between aircraft or fly around the airport far enough out that we don't interfere with landing and departing traffic. I think I'll wait it out. World Travel 738, contact departure. World Travel 738, switching. Oh, there's the Baron. 
but I'm not exactly sure how far I have to fly out to avoid the aircraft. Last time I did, last couple times I did this mission, I had to fly above, above everybody. So let's press Shift Z. Oh, we're at five thousand feet above the ground. Yeah, we're not gonna wait it out. Uh, P A C K. Oh, that's the that's the two landing traffic right there. I think I should have waited it out. Oops, what are we doing? 12 knots at 264. Okay, yeah, let's start going forward. Oh, that's a 747. Alright, so we're going to cross the runway now. Then we're going to start descending. Which is my least favorite thing to do in a helicopter. I like slowing down, but I really don't like descending. Whoa, look at this crazy runway pattern. Let's do a right corkscrew descent. Cool. All right, a thousand feet to go. Actually, our radar altimeter says, says we have about less than a thousand feet to go. It's showing a few hundred. Yeah, we have about 500 feet, 400 feet. Alright. Let's bring the nose up. Start slowing down. Whoa, yeah, definitely slow down. We have 20 degrees nose up. 40, 30, that looks like the package sitting next to the two transports. Establish a steady 10, 100 feet above the object. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that would not have been pretty. Wind is coming from the west. We need to gain some altitude. Right, I think we got it. Good, we're attached. Gently lift off and head northeast towards Sandia Crest without getting too close to other aircraft. Once clear of the airport, fly heading 030. Alright, tutorial. Nope, not tutorial. Pack. Uh, what was what were those instructions again? Sandia Crest, zero three zero. So that's north, north-ish. Eight 
yeah, we have to turn. We have to head back that way. Wouldn't hurt to start climbing now because look at the altitude where we need to go. Ten thousand six hundred and forty-four feet. Sixty knots, wow. Okay, let's start pulling back. Six to seven. Six to six, six to five, okay we're the facility at Sandia Crest is at ten thousand six hundred feet, so expect reduced performance up that high. Slow down before we lose the load. Alright, since we're practically on heading now, let's see if again. Night Owl base. Night Owl, go ahead base. Night Owl, you have company. Dogs en route. Roger. Night Owl out. Base out. It looks like we're being shadowed by that chopper that departed a while ago. Probably an investigative news crew. We can easily outpace them. But you need to be very careful since we're carrying a load. If we haven't lost them by the time we get near Sandia Crest, we may need to head back without dropping off our load. They don't need to know where we're going. Night Owl Base. Night Owl, go ahead. Night Owl, friends are en route. Proceed on course. Roger. Night Owl out. Base out. Well, so much for the news crew. I doubt they'll press on after a fighter intercept. Alright, we're almost cool altitude with the landing pad. Now what? I really don't like these very long missions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save and increase the simulation rate. Same thing I did last two times well not last two times two days ago when I streamed just watch speed Albuquerque Tower Raven Flight wind to Raven Flight there's a green marker to the left of my primary flight display I am looking at that. That is my uh, vertical speed indicator. Shows me how much I'm climbing and how much I'm descending. Alright, that's good. Let's save again. We're fast, we're fast. Yeah, I think we might lose the load. You see how we were jerking around just now? I think that was because the load was oscillating. I find that I'm gripping the joystick a lot tighter than usual. Five point five nautical miles. And those are the two fighters. Four 
4.3 nautical miles. Let's see if again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's pull back. And it's getting dark. Nice going. We just lost the load. Crap. Thanks to you, I suspect we'll be cleaning latrines the rest of the year. Ah. Yep, that's why you always see it. So, where are we now? Antenna package. We'll fly. Oh, hello, there's a new person to room or play. Welcome to the FSX Tow channel. We're doing some sling load missions. And I was trying to cheat it by increasing the simulation rate that didn't work out too well for us so we're just going to fly normal oh, it's dark I really don't like flying at night I don't think we are uploading we're uploading at a high enough bit rate to make flying at night worth it for you guys I mean, if you can't see what's going on, you know, why bother? But you, this looks nice. Our gear should probably be up. Look at that. EH101. Boop, 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 boop. Relax my hands a bit. You know the flight simulation community is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I mean, I thought the only other person that puts out flight sim content on a regular was Air Force Pro. But ter turns out there are a lot more flight simmers. There's a guy with a flight simmer on Twitch named Chewy. He streams and he's pretty big. And I thought maybe there aren't many flight sim people who want to watch flight sim content because there aren't many people who watch my content. And I created my content so to flight sim content. So if people not watching my stuff. They're not watching Flight Sims content at all. Turns out that's not the case. But I'm kinda kinda curious as to how I can bring people into my into my channel. Like I don't want to go on like Air Force Proud's videos or Chewy's videos and just advertise myself because that's a big no-no. But I'm very very curious as to how I could get you know kind of shoehorn myself into flight sim community. Unless you're looking for something very specific that I have posted you are not going to find me. Uh oh, what's happening? Why are we suddenly yawing? Oh, I know what's happening. So if you guys have done the effort, if you've done the missions for gliders, this is a communications facility with several large antennas. Make our approach by going around the antennas, or stay at least 800 feet above the ground to make sure the load clears them. Yeah, if you did the tutorial for gliders, you would know about ridge lift. When the wind goes over a mountain, the mountain acts like a huge airfoil. It's very, very interesting phenomena. Oh, we have to descend. We're about 2,000 feet high. And we're fast, so I can pull the nose up and decrease altitude. 
Okay, and we have a 16, we have a 30 knots wind. Oh, please slow down in time. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Did you guys see the load? There it is again. Crap. Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's see if I can reposition my microphone. Ooh, it's like all up in my face now. Fly now. Actually, maybe this position can work. Nope, no it can't. Let's bring the microphone up a bit more. Alright, that works, but the microphone is like all the way up in my business, so let's bring down my volume a bit. Alright, let's tilt it down some, yep. Alright, I'll remember not to make a lot of noise. Hey, Bola GE. Welcome again, welcome back. Alright, we're at 6 to 6 knots, let's bring the nose up and slow down. Maybe not maybe not decrease altitude so quickly. Crap 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 crap. Nice going, we just lost the load. Thanks to you I suspect we'll be cleaning latrines the rest of the year. Ooh. Yeah. Let's close this down. Really hate that. When you're flying sling loads, you really have to make sure that you stay at altitude. You don't want to go... See, I'm at 12,000 feet and the helipad is at 1,000 1, feet, yeah. Sorry, 10,000 feet. And I'm at 12,000 feet. So not only do I have to contend with descending, I also have to slow down. So what I'm going to do, raise the collective, bring the nose up so I can slow down without descending too much. 14 knots, okay yeah we're slow enough now. Zero knots, crap we're probably going backwards nice going. now. We just lost the load. Jeez. Thanks to you I suspect we'll be clear. Yeah, this is why you really, 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 really have to slow down. Oh, there's another person watching the Twitch stream. Hello, welcome. Uh, okay, I have the Twitch stream open up, so if you care to comment, leave a comment. All right, we're struggling with this mission. Oh, okay. I think I know what to do now. So first things first, we definitely have to slow down. But let's continue climbing. Let's bring the nose up. Yeah, if you're on Twitch, if you're watching me on Twitch, feel free to leave a comment. Don't be shy. Crap, crap, crap. Oop. See, that's... That happens when you slow down too much. Nice going. We just lost the load. Thanks to you, I suspect we'll be cleaning latrines the rest of the year. Either you slow down too much or you descend too much, too quickly. Alright, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to basically... I'm going to basically do like a parachute descent. So the load will be out in front of us, we'll be descending and slowing down at the same time.
Whoa, yeah, we're probably descending too quickly. Nice going, we just yep. lost the load. Alright, let's do another mission. And if anyone asks, we're going to see it was too dark. Baltic Sea Rescue. Oh, this one is also a night mission, so... I don't know. How are we going to justify it? Okay, whoever was watching us on Twitch left, so we have... So the only one Twitch viewer, that's me, monitoring my live stream on my on a different computer. Alright, let's check to see if my make sure my camera is not frozen. It is not. Very nice. Rescue one command. Rescue one, go ahead. We have a distress call from a sinking fishing vessel about 10 miles south of Trelleborg along the Rostock Trelleborg ferry route. Can you respond? Oh, this is not Get exactly the nothing. Up and let's go. The ship is called the Dagmar. According to the manifest, it carries a crew of five. The captain indicated they had a collision in dense fog and are taking on water. We lost the signal before we could get more details. No ferries have reported of damage, and the captain couldn't see the other vessel. Roger, we'll report airborne. Rescue one out. Command out. How are we rescue one, and the thing is saying rescue four up here? That's suspect. But hey, this looks nice. Well, that's probably the... Yep. The hangar. Oh, what if? Flying in the turn around and back of the cliff. Yeah, um, that could have worked, but the load starts to do a whole bunch of craziness when you descend. So that's why you really should not be going Three too high. I'll get our um, I was planning on doing that, but I was too high. Rescue one, wind two three niner at one six gust two niner. Southeast departure approved. Traffic is a Boeing 747 holding short runway 22 right. Rescue 1. Lift off and fly heading 130. Alright, let's bring up our ship C. 130. Okay, that does not help me much. Let's bring up that. 130. Okay, well I have to turn right. Alright, bricks. 5 degrees nose up. Alright. Gear up. Orbit two seven one, wind two three niner at one six gust two niner, runway two two right, clear for takeoff. Traffic is a rescue helicopter departing south of you. Should be no factor. Orbit two seven one heavy rolling. Jolly nice day for a rescue. Let's head southeast toward Trelborg, then we'll head south along the ferry route. Intercept and track the 125 degree radial outbound from the Kastrup VOR for about 21 miles. The identifier is Kilo Alpha Sierra, and the frequency is 112.5 MHz. The 125 degree... Alright, I think we will do that. Let's see... Nearest... Ah, so this is showing the airport. There's a way to also show the nearest waypoints and nearest everything else. Ah, huh, that's weird. Push. 
Right, but I can't figure out how to do it, so... It can't be done. If I can't figure it out, it's impossible. Will take us across the bay, past Sodersland Airport to Trelborg. From there, we'll fly southwest to roughly follow the ferry route to Rostock. Race with boats. Ah, um, we don't have any boats. No, we don't have any boats here. Oh, look at this. Ah, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, take a screenshot real quick. You know, I have no idea where the screenshots go when you when you take a screenshot in Steam. I have no idea where they go. You can take a screenshot with V, and you can take the screenshot um, F12 with um, for Steam. But I have no idea where they go. Oh, this is nice. That's. Over two seven one contact Vodka. Over two seven one heavy switching. Let's play at IVO. That's IV. IV. Come on, rescue one. Command. We're off Castro, southeast bound. Roger, command out. Rescue one out. Let's take another picture. Yep. Alright, let's pay attention to flying now. Turn about a hundred feet off the water. You know since we don't have a load, this would be perfect time to do the increased simulation rate. But I'm pretty sure the guy is going to be talking to us during the flight, so let's do that. Increase simulation rates. And since we don't have a sling load, we can also go faster. When you have a sling load, you can only go at about 70 knots, 70 knots maximum. But without a load, you can go about 600 and... Whoa, what is that? It's probably another aircraft. A maximum you can go is about 600 and... Sorry, 165 knots. Any faster and you'll overspeed the aircraft. UFO? <laughs> yeah, probably. We're about five miles out from Trellborg. What, so you want me to go to normal simulation rates? Well, that's very passive aggressive of you to say. Oh, when we reach Trellborg, we have to do some more. We have to fly across the channel. So let's have our mouse over normal. Oh, 180 knots? Yeah, we're over speeding. Okay, we're over Trelborg. Fly heading 190 toward Rostock. Do nav 1 to the Stirrup VOR so we can measure our distance from the coast. The frequency is 113 megahertz. The VOR is about 12 miles from the coast. Let's fly south to about 30 DME, then turn around and make another pass to the north. Oh, wait, did you actually want me to do that? Uh, okay, this is going to be... Okay, well, we can't do that. Let's see. Cockpit. Okay, chase plane does not allow that. Left seat. Sorry. Center console. Oh, okay. Mm, so VOR, VOR is... 
one of the knobs. One thirteen point zero. How how do you switch? Oh, okay. All right, few hours about twelve miles from the coast. That's like thirty DME. All right, well I don't know how to do the rest of that. Yeah, I think we we probably stuffed the mission already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to Trailborg. And then hopefully another prompt comes up. Oh, one one nine zero. Yeah, I totally missed. I totally missed when he said that. Let's get the mouse out the way. All right, we're going to descend some because if you're looking for a sinking ship, it does not help for you to be super high. This is good. One nine zero, a hundred not a hundred um, degrees. One seventy one eighty one ninety. One nine six. So that's all right, this is a hundred. One nine zero. Ooh, man, it's kind of difficult to judge here. Whoa, what's that? Fly oh, it's in flyby view. Yeah, it's kind of hard to judge your distance above the ground when it's dark like this. I guess that's what you're. Altimeter is far. Oh, look at the texture on the water. Though it looks like it looks like um foil or something, like the water does not move. It's a texture that is just um wavy. But I like how the light, the transition of the light, how it goes on and off. So the transition of light over here and over here. Just let's get the mouse out the way. One nine one, one nine two. One ninety level. Wow, we were just descending. We were descending to about sixty feet above the water, and you guys didn't even see anything. I would increase simulation rates, but we are too low to the water, and I'm not sure when the prompt will come up that we found the um the boat. Let's see. Let's fly south for about thirty DME. Okay. 
see how much fuel we have, 92%. Okay, we can keep that open. Wow, Arjun is once again reminding me that I really should go offline when I stream. But surprisingly, I didn't see it come up in the stream. Probably does not show up. Hmm, interesting. Alright, we are too high. We're in the fog. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's just a regular, a regular ferry. This is the Rostock Ferry heading for Trelborg. We can use its position as a reference. If you see the Trevor Moon to Trelborg Ferry, we're probably too far west. Oh, shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to start all over again. I don't think we saved any bits of that. Nope, we did not. That sucks. But at least it wouldn't take too long for you guys watching because I'm just going to increase the simulation rate as soon as this mission starts up again. Rescue 1 command. Rescue 1, go ahead. Start up the engines. We have a distress call from a sinking fishing vessel about 10 miles south. Affirm. Get the engine sp The ship is called the Dagmar, according to the manifest that carries the crew. Roger. Command out. We're at 8 times speed now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three good engines. Copenhagen Tower, Rescue 1, Wind 239, Copenhagen, one, three, Denmark. 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 Day for rescue. Let's head southeast toward Trelborg, then we'll head south along the ferry route. Intercept and track the 125 degree radial outbound from the Castro V. Nope, I'm not one doing any of that. Come on, come off. Rescue one out. Yeah, really bad weather. Imagine I'm taking shortcuts in a simulator and, a, and there are people out there in the real world who do this at normal speed with cockpit view alone they don't have spot view, they don't have tower view or the gear or anything like that one day I hope to gain such skill IRL oh there's your UFO again we're about five miles out from Trellborg Fly heading 190 toward Rostock to Nav 1 to the Stirrup VOR so we can measure our distance from the coast. The frequency is 113 megahertz. The VOR is about 12 miles from the coast. Let's fly south to about 30 DME, then turn around and make another pass to the north. You know, I don't see why I have to be tuning the radios, you know. 
what is your purpose if you have me tuning radios and all that jazz? Alright, there's the other ferry that we should be followed. That we're gonna use as a reference. There's the Ross. If you see the Trevor Moon to Trailbog Ferry, we're probably too far west. Alright, just keeping an eye on my altitude. Alright, let's go back to normal speed. Oh yeah. Oh welcome um Nosheru the Stallion. <laughs> I don't I don't know where that accent came from. Um FSX is the best sim to start. Oh yeah, for sure. As long as you have a joystick or a yoke, flight sim is fun. Keyboard and mouse, not so much. Yeah, th these missions really are fun. Missions like um UFO intercept and the carrier practice the carrier landing missions, those are really really fun. 50 miles, let's 010 zero, zero towards Trailborg. Okay. Of Trailborg now. So turn right to heading up 010 zero, zero degrees back toward Trailborg. And imagine for a game that is uh, how old is Flight Sim? Fourteen years old. For a game that's fourteen years old, this graphics aren't bad. Zero one zero back to Trailboard. All right. Yeah, let me turn up my. Whoops, we are getting low. Jesus Christ. I was just about to say, let me turn up my monitor brightness. And we did not save again. Right, let me turn up my monitor brightness because as it's getting darker in the game, it's getting harder to see. <laughs> F. <laughs> yeah. F for respects. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah this mission music is awesome. You know there are more than one um, main menu music. There are about eight different songs in Flight Sim. Rescue one command. Zoom out. See it's nice and Rescue bright here. One, go ahead. We have a distress call oh, from let's a sinking start the engines first. Options, simulator and right. The, the, the ship is called the Dagmar. According to the manifest, it carries a crew. Roger, we're command out. Mm. That's just the only helicopter mix, by the way. Three good engines. Copenhagen Cup Rescue 1, wind 239 or at 1 feet. Rescue lift off and fly heading 130. Alright, let's bring this up. Alright, we are about 50 frames per second. Take off. Orbit 271, wind orbit 271 have jolly nice day for rescue. Let's head southeast toward Trellborg, then we'll head south along the ferry route. Intercept and track the 125 degree radial outbound from the Castro VOR orbit. Uh, three sound trucks. Well. Oh, okay, no, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks. I'm a professional sound effects person. Uh, Alright, well, you could. The stream will be saved on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out after you come back from work, that's no problem, but thanks for peeping the stream anyhow. Alright, see you in a Cheryl. Rescue one out.
Yeah, there are about eight soundtracks in Flight Sim, not just three. The first one, um, FS, FSX01 and FSX07 are the best in my opinion. And there's another one, I think it's FS03 or 04. Ah, uh, yes, Origin, it once again reminded me I should turn off, I should go offline when I stream. Okay, we're off. Fly heading 190 toward Rostock. Two Nav 1 to the stir of one VOR so we can measure our distance zero. from the coast. The frequency is 113 megahertz. The VOR is about 12 miles from the coast. Let's fly south to about 30 DME, then turn around and make another pass to the north. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I suppose they see all the data add a little bit of realism, like, and that was what they would do. That's how they would measure distance. They would use them. If you see the moon to Trailborg Ferry, we're probably too far west. Right, we'll keep to Trailborg, and at about twelve or fifteen nautical miles away from Trailborg, we'll have to turn around. miles south of Trailburg now, so turn right to a heading of 010 degrees back toward Trailburg. Ah, look at that beautiful turn. Crap. Ooh! Oh, I saw our altitude. We definitely hit the water just now. Um, T-R-E-L-B for Trailburg. Yeah, let's, let's see if because of shenanigans What did he say? One nine zero. Back to Rostock. All right. I think now we're going to see it, just like with the other mission, the jets. Turn left to a heading of one nine zero. Back towards Rostock. The full weather mission. We did two passes, and then we found the boots. One nine zero. Let's bring the nose down. We can increase past seven to knots because we don't have a sling load. Sling sling load. Ooh, tripping over my words a bit. Oh, I think that's the ferry that we see when we're too far to the west. Oh, it's one nine zero. So let's turn back. One thirty eight. Now we're de decreasing in altitude. All right, now we're climbing again. Yep, it's getting dark now. The sun is down. That's the ferry. Let's go back in the cockpit. See, I hate this. 
you can't tell how high you are from the ground unless you look at your altimeter I can't wait to find the Dagmar let's save again Trill We're slowing down. Let's put the nose down. I think I should probably fly like this. Because from this view is the only view I can clearly see how high I am from the ground. Is that it was almost as if we dropped the flare just now. Is this something? Oh, okay. If we're low enough to the water, we can see our lights. That doesn't look too nice though. You can see those lines on the water, on the light. Now let's climb again. Yep, yep. Let's do four times speed. We don't need to go crazy with eight times speed. So let's chill for a little bit at four times speed. I think at 15 he's going to tell us to turn around again. Whoops, we're getting low. at 15 and he didn't tell us to turn around that's very suspicious let's open back up the chats back towards Rostock yeah so that means we should have seen it if we were low enough Picking around the helicopter, I guess admiring it flights in is not that bad. Somehow, I think we're aimlessly flying now. It looked that horrible gradation. Oops! <laughs> I was just looking at the water and was like, yep, let's fly straight into it. Now, are there any other missions? Because, frank quite frankly, 
I am bored. Like I don't mind I don't mind the difficulty in picking up the guys, but flying to get to them is quite boring. Let's pause. Alright, let's jump back at it. What is that? 6.6 frames per second. Oh, now we jumped up to 26. That. It's weird, and it's gone. <laughs> Did you see that? Like, why does that happen? If we don't find this boat by the time we accidentally crash again, because I know we'll probably accidentally crash, I'll probably be looking at oh look, the lights on the water look are looking rather close. Let's continue to get close to it and then we crash. Automat arrival to Earth. Oh, da 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 ah. Oh, was I humming that? I don't think I was that. I was not conscious that I was humming that. But if I was, yep, that's what I was humming. Whoa, you guys seeing that? This red thing over here. Is that? And it's gone. Ooh. All right. Yeah. I probably have to do this mission on my own time when but I'm not trying to entertain, but just do the mission because these night missions are terrible. And there is the thing again. Let me peep my stream to see if you guys are seeing it. Cause all it could mean is that maybe my graphics card is dying or something. There it is. Looks like a red spot right there, it's gone now. Very weird phenomena. Oh, we're very much off our heading. Jeez. Supposed to be heading 190. we're getting high low 80s sometimes our frame rate is jumping up to 100 because there's nothing going on on screen now oh let me scroll down again so i could see the chat
Oh, there are three of them now. Right here. Let me pause. Yep, they're still there. Let's go over to Twitch. Yeah, so... Whoops. Let's do this. Yeah, so it's you can't see it. But just barely. I guess if you were full screen on your computer, you could probably see it the way I see it. Oh my god. Okay, this is very boring. Let's save. End mission. We're gonna do something else. And this mission is four to five minutes long, so that's a big no for me. Oh, since we were at since we were flying at night and it did not look too bad on stream, let's do this this mission, Coast Guard Transport. This is a nice mission, but it doesn't use a sling load, so that's why I didn't bother to do it. But let's do it. We'll do this one and then we'll call it quits. Hey, we have someone else watching us on Twitch. Welcome, Traveler. Feel free to hit that follow button and drop me a comment. I'd greatly appreciate it, thanks. We're all fueled up, ready to head back to Obalaka. I'll handle the radios, you do the flying. All set up front, medic secure? Medic secure. Okay, let's go. I'll call the tower. Navy Key West Tower, Coast Guard 1123, ready to go with Foxtrot. Request special VFR eastbound. Special VFR. Coast Guard 1123, cleared out of the Class Delta service area to the east. Maintain special VFR conditions. No reported traffic. Wind 250 at 15, gusts 18. East departure approved. Coast Guard 1123. Take off and fly heading 050. That should put us on a direct course for Opalaka. Alright, since I don't think we'll be going back to our stream deck, let's just hit that full screen button. Yep. Alright. Let's fly from the cockpit. Wind is 50 knots. Alright, let's bring the gear up. Gear is coming up. Push forward. And we're off. Look at that. Beautiful. Who's the person who just keeps going into the stream and then going back out? It's very strange. They're not leaving a comment or sticking around.
we should probably increase our simulation rates again. Don't worry, we will not be flying 109 nautical miles to Opalaka. Oh, um, did one of you say that you had the autopilot gauge for the EH-101? I forgot who it was that said they had the autopilot gauge for the EH-101. But that's definitely something I think I should look into. Those sling load missions would be super easy with the, with the autopilot gauge. Let's try again Baltic Sea Rescue. Ah. Uh, no. No, I'm 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 done with that mission for now. I'm done with that mission and the antenna package mission. When I get when I get that autopilot gauge, I can we'll retry it. I'll stream again either on Sunday or on Monday, same time. I'm trying to stream three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday and Friday or Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. I mean, not nice that well, the guy is uh, accident. Well, we have a change of plans. This is accident. now a priority rescue mission. Vehicular accident east end of Seven Mile Bridge west of Pitching Key, about 30 miles east of our present position. Police on scene, no medics. Let's get going. We could stay low and follow the highway, but we can save time by flying direct to the Marathon NDB. The identifier is Mike Tango Hotel, and the frequency is 260 kilohertz. The accident scene is about five miles short of Marathon. What kind of aircraft Nestor 37 is? Yes, this looks like a job for the loot to do to see C O S T Co Coast C O A S T G. 
Yes. This looks like a job for accelerated stimulation rate. All right, we're about oops, one thousand two hundred feet. We're wasting valuable time flying so slowly. Let us get out of the clouds. See, this is nice. We have some moonlight, and we can actually see see how high we are from the water. So I don't have to be looking up to the top of the screen to figure out where we are. Point two. So the accident scene is about five. You should be able to see the flashing lights from the distance. In the distance, I think that's it. Right off our nose, right in front Rescue of us. One, one, two. Rescue one one two. Rescue two three. Patching you. Go ahead, sir. Uh, this is uh, Blade. Coast Guard Rescue one one. We have a car truck collision blocking both lights. You by your. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's an ambulance cup. All right. I, I got I got no choice. Not so. We can't waste any time. We're the only hope this guy's got. Oh, okay, we're pitched down too much. Yep, that's the accident scene up ahead of us. So let's go to normal. Um get rid of that. Our mouse is gone. Oh we're overspeeding the helicopter, lovely. Now let's pause. Quick save again. Coast G. Yes, I want to overwrite the file. I can see the police car's lights. Yes, I can see them too. Alright, we're 1.7 nautical miles. We are high too. But since we don't have a sling load, we'll have no issue descending. The wind is coming from the north at 15 knots. Ninety knots, point six nautical miles, eight to five knots. We can do better than that. Pull the nose up five degrees, nose up five degrees, nose up and hold seventy knots, ten degrees, nose up and hold fifty knots, a hundred feet. Yeah. Let's land right next to the police car with the rear ramp facing the accident so we can load quickly. Okay, yes, this is where the trouble begins now. Come on, man, slow down. Slow the heck. Slow the heck down. Alright, let's climb. It says the accident seat is 9 to 9 feet. I love that there is no one else in the other lane. There's no one in the other lane rubbernecking the accident scene. Right, I think we should fly this bit, this bit from in the cockpit. Or maybe not. Alright, don't crush. a lot more difficult than I remember it being. Alright, alright. Forward. Forward. Forward and slide right. 
too much forward. Actually, no. Maybe not. Alright, I could slide right a bit more. Push the nose down. Yaw left. Beautiful. Lower the ramp. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ready to go back here. One victim on board and secure. He's just hanging on, so make it a smooth flight. Ready up here. Oh, let's see if uh coast G. This guy to the hospital in Key West. Fly directly to the Fishhook NDB on Key West. Identifier Foxtrot India Sierra, frequency 332 kilohertz. The NDB is just west of the International Airport. Alright, bring the gear up. He's in bad shape. Alright, so for this mission, after you pick up the guy, you are not allowed to pull a lot of G's. Cause if you bank and yank the aircraft too sharply, you would lose the guy. And that's, oh you dropped him off, you drop him out the back of the aircraft or something, as in he would die. So, I think I'm going to just fly it all the way in. As boring as that sounds, yes, I will do it. Stay clear of the antennas. What antennas? It's probably not a good idea, not a good sign. When someone says, stay clear of something or watch out for something and you're like, where? And you're going at speed. Let's see if I could figure out this GPS thing again. Fish hook NDB. Is that this magenta line here? I doubt it. Nope. Menu. Huh, interesting. Ooh, I'm getting hungry now. Alright, let's save. Coast G. Yes. And then we'll do four times speed.
All right, so yeah, I think this four times speed is way too fast because I can't tell what's going on. All right, so let's print that. Let's save again. Coast G. Yeah, what I can tell is that we're slow and we're climbing way too fast. So let's drop the nose down. Sixty knots. We'll bring the nose up and add some power. We're at about five hundred and ten feet now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fly this fly the rest of it in at normal speed. Ooh, this this fog and the night time is not helping me at all. It's not doing me any favors. I saw a documentary on this aircraft and it says that it has special functionality that uh, it has like an auto hover mode so even in high winds you can hit that auto auto hover and you wouldn't be blown all over the place Seven point one one nautical miles away. Let's turn. Twenty one. Navy West Tower, Coast Guard Rescue one one two three five miles east. Request special via for transition to Key West. Coast Guard Rescue 1123, uh, need to coordinate with International Tower regarding departing IFR traffic. Stand by. Coast Guard Rescue 1123, cleared through Class Delta surface area to the west. Maintain special VFR north of the Key West International Runway 27 Extended Center Line. We'll maintain special VFR and remain north of International Rescue 1123. Okay, we're cleared to transition to the west. Stay to the north of the airbase. Coast Guard Rescue 1123, contact Key West Tower 118.2. Rescue 1123. Oh, I think this is where we departed from. Yep. That's where we departed from. After we pass the airport, we are going to turn. Oh, here's Key West. Key West Tower, Coast Guard Rescue 1123, two miles east. Request special VFR transition to Key West. Coast Guard Rescue 1123, cleared to the Class Delta surface area to the west. Maintain special VFR conditions north of the runway. Traffic is the beach barren departing runway 27. Maintain visual separation from the traffic. We'll transition north of the runway and we have the barren. Coast Guard Rescue 1123. All right, we're cleared to transition to the west. Stay to the north of the airport and keep an eye on that barren on the runway. Yeah, we passed the runway a while ago. Look at this view. Amazing. What I'm doing, I'm basically keeping an eye on this gauge over here. 
Alright, we're coming up on the fish hook NDB. Now this is where we get trouble because I like uh, what's this again? Coast G, yeah. I like pulling the nose up and slowing down. I like like uh, air braking. And that is not a good idea. Uh, let's bring up the GPS again. Oh wow, we're close. Baron 71 Foxtrot Sierra. Traffic is a Coast Guard helicopter north of the airport transitioning westbound. Should be no factor. Wind 265 and 16, runway 27, clear for takeoff. One Foxtrot Sierra, rolling. Oh, no, it's this airport. We got clearance from this airport. Okay. Yeah, there's the bar on down there. We're coming up on the fish hook NDB. I remember we have to turn right when we get close enough to the fish hook NDB. We turn right and then the the hospital is close. And then we have to land on the helipad. Which is on top of a building. We're approaching the fish hook NDB. Yep. Fly heading 320 and get slowed down for the approach to the helipad. One, three, four feet. Okay. All right. Hey, we're slow down. We slow down in good enough time. And our passenger is not experiencing any discomfort. All right. Point five nautical miles. Let's bring down the gear. There's the hospital. Set it down on the helipad. Gear is moving. Three down and locked. 29 knots. Alright, let's save. Let's quick save again. Oh, this is beautiful. 17 knots. Wait, where's the wind coming from? Zero five three degrees. So that's from the east. Okay, so we have a fifteen knot tailwind. Okay, so I'm going to fly past, fly past the um, the helipad. I'm losing him. We need to get to the hospital now. I lost a lot of blood, and this bumpy ride is making things worse. I don't know if I can get him back. Just do the best you can. I just lost the heartbeat. I'm getting out the paddles. Ah, uh, shut up. Clear. Oh shoot, that sounded serious. Still no beat. Clear. Not to land this thing. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. He's lost too much blood. No. No, but we're here though. We're here. Look, we're here. We did the best we could, but it wasn't enough. Uh, help the medic get him offloaded. That sucks. That sucks. All right, we'll redo that mission and then we'll call it. A, we'll call it quits. I hate to see that we got mission failed and we were we were on the helipad.
All right, two people, another person is watching my stream. Hello, welcome traveler. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right, so basically we are doing the Coast Guard, res um, Coast Guard transport mission. All right, is the gear down? Yep, the gear is down. We're going to land on the helipad. We're going 30 knots, 26. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, so close. I was yawing around. What I should have done, I should have stopped and let the momentum carry me. Uh, cool, let's get transport. Let's have our throttle set. Yeah, so whoever is watching me on Twitch, feel free to comment. Greatly appreciate it. You can hit that follow for free. Also greatly appreciate it. I think I'm going to remove that the thing where I'm basically asking for money. God, that's not helping anyone. It's not helping me. And I don't have... I don't have enough people watching the stream to donate anyway. Nineteen knots, yeah, let's just do a straight in approach. I'm losing him. We need to get to the hospital now. Alright, we're here. Shh what? What happened? Oh we probably our newest gear probably crashed it. Oh stressful. But don't worry, we'll we can do this. Top battery is getting low. Well, we crashed anyway. I hate it when you're like so close to the end. It's going on seven o'clock now. Breaking the ear breaking. I'm gonna do a more aggressive ear breaking. Yep. Alright. Push forward. 14 knots. Crap. Hey, but at least we were on the helipad before. Before that prompts that, oh, we're losing him, he's lost a lot of blood, blah, 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 blah. So... So that means... 
do it breaking um, slowing down normally is what got me in trouble what got me in trouble the first time I think there's a countdown from the time you pick up the guy to when you land and if you don't land within a certain time that's when you get that prompt oh he's losing a lot of blood blah 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 Careful, careful. Yep. I'm losing him. Yep. We need to get to the hospital. Yeah. Right now. Great job on a tough flight. I'll help the medic get him offloaded. Yes, get him Not off my head. This bumpy chocolate. ride is making things worse. I don't know if I can you get see? him back. Just do the best you can. The voice thing is still going. The, the voice thing is still going even though we landed. So it definitely has a the mission has a timer. Coast Guard life saving ribbon. Nice. Alright, well, that's it for today's stream. We're doing um, sling load missions, but the last two missions, this Baltic Sea Rescue and the antenna package, they were notoriously difficult, so I called it quits and we did Coast Guard Transport instead. So, yeah. Um, let's hit this. Whoops, not that. Let's hit this. No, not pause. Let's hit this. Yeah. Sorry. Let's hit this. Wow, you can tell how coordinated I am. Yeah, so that's it for the FSX Toad stream today. Um, stay tuned either on Sunday or on Monday after three o'clock for more shenanigans i'm not sure exactly what exactly we're gonna do but we're gonna do something fun all right thanks for watching everyone see you on the go around wow that's music that music stopped abruptly